Danger, Iran vows to unleash warships on Gulf of Mexico, Atlantic Ocean, war is here. The Islamic State might have had the last vestige of its territory seized in Syria, but don't be fooled, they are still far along in the process of establishing their global caliphate and conquering every free country on the planet. Jihadists already have massive battalions of soldiers and cells planted deep within the jungles of Latin America, and they've declared an alliance with the drag lords who, together, would like nothing better than to bring down the Western powers they deem the world's greatest evil. But there's an even greater threat to American democracy, and it's looming over the horizon of the Atlantic Ocean. According to an NBC News report, Iran's new naval commander just issued a threat to deploy the Islamic regime's warships to America's doorstep. Rear Admiral Hossein Khanzadi says he has been drawing up plans for Iran's naval forces to be sent into the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic Ocean, effectively barricading the continental United States in preparation for an invasion. Tehran is seeing this move as vengeance for the U.S. having its own navy stationed in the Persian Gulf south of the Iranian coast. According to NBC. Speaking at his first press conference since being appointed, Khanzadi promised his navy would wave the flag of our country in the Gulf of Mexico. He pointed out that the appearance of our vessels in the Mediterranean and Suez Canal shocked the world and the U.S. also made comments on it. According to a report from Reuters, Khanzadi has also promised to upgrade the Iranian Navy's hardware with superior vessels and helicopters, and even a submarine, which will be revealed next year. Earlier this month, Iranian Army Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayyari declared that it is Iran's ultimate cultural and military goal to project its power toward Europe and America. The threat to the mainland U.S. and its civilians is insanely imminent. With Muslim warships positioned all along our coast, it's practically an act of war to wave their flag in our waters. The Iranians could bring a massive army of their Revolutionary Guard foot soldiers to wage a Normandy-style invasion of the East Coast, imagine, turban-headed warriors shrieking the Akbar. As they march on the shores of Florida, Norfolk, Baltimore, and New York City. Or, even worse, and more possible would be if the Iranians simply snuck their fresh nuclear warheads onto a submarine or warship, and fired them on all U.S. major cities from the short distance of our coastline. It's the Cuban Missile Crisis all over again. If the Iranians followed through with their threat, it would be an unprecedented moment in history, the first time that a Muslim, jihadist-supporting nation will be able to expand its power and influence far beyond its shores just like the major Western empires of centuries ago. Go.